Hi dear children, welcome back to our mass class. We have a silent prayer now. All join your hands and close your eyes. Okay, we have studied the multiplication table 2 to 10. How to multiply two digit number by one digit number? Yes? Okay. Now, let's see some real life situations where we use multiplication of two digit number. Hmm? In which situation we use multiplication in our day to day life? And simply that is word problems. Hmm? See, can you say some examples uh, that we use multiplication? Yes, one example is. Hmm? You want to buy a pen. Means you bought two pens from a shop. Hmm? Both pens are the same cost. Cost of one pen. Mean cost of one pen is 10 rupee. You bought how many pens? You bought two pens. Then you want to give money to that shopkeeper. How you calculate the money? Yes, for one pen, 10 rupees. Second pen also 10 rupees. So 10 plus 10. Yes, it's simply we know 20. Uh, 10 plus 10 means it is the repeated addition. Repeated addition means which process of repeated addition is called? Yes, multiplication. For, so you bought two pens. Each pen cost of each pen is 10 rupee. So total cost is equal to 2 into 10 is equal to 20 rupees. So in this like situations, we use multiplication. Some questions, some examples given in your test book. So children, take your mathematics test book. Open it. Take page number 6, example 3. Hmm? Example with solution. What is the question? 42 people were sitting in a row of a stadium to enjoy a cricket match. How many people would be there in all if there were uh, 6 such rows? I mean in a cricket stadium. Means so many people are there sitting there to watch the cricket match. And the total six rows are there. Imagine this is a cricket stadium. And total six rows are there. One, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six rows. Each row, how many people? Yes, 42 people are sitting in each row. Means here in the first row, 42 people are sitting. Second row, 42 people are sitting. Third row, 42 people. Fourth row, 42 people. Fifth row, 42 people. Sixth row, 40 people. What is the question? How many people would be there in all if there are such? Means how many people are sitting in this six rows? Okay, that is the question. So how we are find? Because operation is multiplication. Means we have now for first row 42, second row 42. So 42 plus 42 plus 42 plus 52 plus 42 plus 42. Means repeated action. We add the same number and we add the same number. Means we add 42 over and over again. So that is repeated addition. Means it is multiplication. So total 6 rows are there. So we can do this way using multiplication 42 into 6. If you multiply this, we will get the total number of people sitting in that stadium. And this word problem, so we want to write the statement. Yes, I will write the statement. Yes, statement, we know that statement we get from the question itself. Here, 42 people were sitting in a row of a stadium to enjoy a cricket match. So, we can write number of people sitting in one row. In each total, six rows are there. In each row, there are 42 people sitting. So, number of people sitting in one row. That is the first statement. Number. Here, yeah, people. So, we use number. Then, second word, number of rows. How many rows are here? How many rows? Total, six rows. So, number of rows is equal to six. And what we have to find? We have to find the total number of people in six rows. So, the total number of people in six rows is equal to 42 into 6. Multiplication of two digit number by one digit number. If you multiply that, we will get the total number of people sitting in that stadium. So, statement, then, then question, solution also given here. Example 3. Uh, 
page number 6 one more example example 4 there also statement is given okay and in the first one then uh, that solution that's that's all we using lattice algorithm but you use, use standard algorithm to, to solve that okay so just see question number 3 and 4 page number 6 and 7 question number 3 and uh, 6 question number 3 and 4 page number 6 and so just read it okay now now the test book others all activities we completed two more word problem that will give you okay word problem now you take your mathematics workbook in the previous classes we completed some questions some more questions are there to solve so or take your mathematics workbook now open take page number four short answer questions means question number 17 onwards all the word problems okay question number 17 in your mathematics workbook question number 17 Question number 17. Okay, what is the question? Or look in your test book. Means for book. There are 48 students in a row for the morning assembly. How many students would be there in six such rows in a school? Uh, they were conducting the morning assembly. Yeah? And students are standing uh, in a row. How many rows are there? No, one morning assembly. Students are standing this way. Yes, uh, there are six rows. Hmm? One, two, three, four, five, six rows. And 48 students, uh, 48 students in a row. Uh, means there are 48 students in one row. Means first row there are 48 students. Second row also 48 students. Third row also 48, fourth, fifth, sixth also 48 students. I mean each row 48 students. How many students would be there in six such rows? So how we find is yes, no doubt we use multiplication means we to find the total number means we add all this number. I mean this we add this 48 six times. I mean if we add 48 six times means that is repeated addition. What? Yes. Huh? We can use the word multiplication. So, 48 plus 48 plus 48 six times is equal to 48 into 6. Multiplication of two digit number by one digit. Okay. Let's we get the operation. We mean just to multiply that 48 and then 6. Then, <coughs> we want to write the <coughs> statement. Okay. Now, we write the statement. Here, students. So, we can write number of students in a row. Number of students in a row. Number of students in a row. Okay, that is equal to 48. Then, after what we write is, yes, how many students would be there in six such row? Therefore, then next statement is number of rows. Hmm? That is equal to six. Number of rows is equal to six. Then, therefore, number of students in six rows is equal to, number of students in six rows is equal to 48 into six. Just multiply as so you will get answer. Okay, multiply using what standard algorithm, you will get the total number of students in the score. Clear now? So, in this question, means one thing, mean details of one thing is given, asked for many. Means here, one row, number of students in one row is given. Now, then we have to find the number of students in six such rows, means same same row means same number of students in each row same number of students so details of one thing is given and asked for many in that keyword in that situation we use the multiplication look the next example next question question number 18 Pratik got some boxes of oranges there are 19 oranges in one box. How many oranges are there in seven such boxes? Eh? So, Pradeek has some oranges in one, in some boxes. Eh? Or boxes of oranges. Total seven boxes are there. 
Hmm? Pratik has seven boxes. Each box has 19 orange means one box. Eh? Question number 18. Total there are seven boxes. One box how many or oranges? One box 19. No? Yes, 19 oranges are there in the one box. So, what we have to find? How many oranges are there in seven such boxes? Or so in seven boxes, there are in one box 19 oranges. So, in seven boxes, 19 into 7 oranges. One box, 19 oranges. So, two boxes, 19 plus 19 oranges. Three boxes, 19 plus 19 plus 19 oranges. Means repeated addition. Means what? Multiplication. So, in seven boxes, there are 19 into 7 oranges. If you multiply that, we will get the total number of oranges in the seven boxes. Okay, then step number of orange statement, number of oranges in one box is equal to 19, number of boxes is equal to 7, number of oranges in the four number of oranges in 7 such boxes is equal to 19 into 7. Clear? Question number 19, each child carries 9 notebooks. Listen here. How many notebooks will 45 children carry? One more question is verify your answer using both the method of multiplication. That question no need. Just cut that question. So, a last question. Verify your answer using both the method of multiplication. Just cut that question. Okay. Then what we want to find in this question? Each child carry 9 notebooks. Hmm? One child carry 9 notebooks. Then 45 children are there. Hmm? So we have to find how many notebooks will this 45 children carry. Hmm? One child carry 9 notebooks. One child carry 9 notebooks. So there are 45 children. 45 children are there. So we have to find the total number of notebook this 45 children carry. Or we find, yes, one child, nine notebooks. So, two, two child, two children, two children, yes, nine plus nine. Three children, nine plus nine plus nine. Four children, nine plus nine plus nine means we add the same number. Yes, one child, nine. Two children, nine plus nine. Three children, nine plus nine plus nine. So, 45 children, how many? Yes, we add, we add nine, how many times? 45 times. Means, you see, multiplication symbol, we can write 45 into nine. Uh, so, total number of notebook uh, carried by 45 children is equal to 45 into nine. Just multiply this, we will get the answer here. Okay, for first, how we have multiplied? Yes, we start from the ones place. Yes, 45. Yes, we arrange this way. Mm -hmm. Start from the ones place. Eh? Nine files are. Where's nine files are? Yes, it is 45. Then five we write here and four we forward to the next place as the carryover. Now, four nine. That is more. Four nine. It is 36 plus four, 40. So, the answer is 405. Hmm? So, number of total number of notebook, num, total number of notebooks carried by 45 children is 45 into 9 that is equal to 405. How first we are start from this to multiply two digit number by one digit. We start from the one space. 5 nines are 45. 5 we write and 4 we forward to the next place as the carryover. <coughs> now multiply the tens place. 4 and 9. 4 nines are is 36 and add we carry over. Uh, but carry over is there. So we add that carry over to this answer. So 36 plus 4 we get 40. So the answer is 405. Then statement is number of notebook carried by one child is equal to 9. Next number of notebooks carried by 45 children is equal to 45 into 9. Okay. Question number 20. 
there are two questions are the a and b first a there are four people in every house in a society how many people would there be in 29 houses and four people in every house in a society how many people would there be in 29 houses this is in a housing colony yes there are 29 houses okay 29 what housing colony there are total 29 houses that is number of houses is equal to 29 then what? There are four people in every house. Uh, every house, the number of people in each house is equal to four. In each house, there are four people. Uh, father, mother, two uh, children. Okay. So, in each house, there are four people. Then, what we have to find? How many people would there be in 29 houses? So, how... Yes, 29 into 4. Just multiply. Huh? That just multiply the number of people in one house into total number of, that is number of houses. Huh? Multiply, you will get the answer. <coughs> that step statement, number of houses is equal to 29. Number of people in each house is equal to 4. Therefore, number of people in 29 houses is equal to 29 into 29 into 4. And we multiply that, you will get the answer. Now, question number B that you have to do. You have to do. What is there are 7 ice cream in one box? Small question, simple question. How many ice creams would there be in 12 such boxes? Huh? One box, 7 ice creams. So, 12 boxes, how many? How you find? Yes, 12 into 12 into 7. Okay, so that question number 20B that you have to find. That is your homework. Okay, then two more questions that is 21 and 22. No need that. You just cut that. No need. Just skip that question 21 and 22. Frame our problem. No need. That's question number 21 and 22. So children, uh, then question number 16 also no need. That is lattice algorithm. Some questions given no. That also no need. Question number 16, question number 14, just keep that to question. Other question answers you have to write in the workbook. Okay, that is page question number up to 20. And in that question number up to 20, just keep that question number 14 and 16. Because that is the lattice algorithm. And we know study about this lattice algorithm. So just keep that question number 14 and 16 in the workbook. Others or questions you have to write that answers you have to write in the workbook. Okay. And children, now we discussed so many questions of no word problem in workbook. That questions you have to write in the workbook itself. No need to write in the practice book. In practice books, you can write this question. That is, there are 23 boys in one group. The school had four such groups. How many boys were there in all the groups? This question answers. Question and solution. <coughs> question and answer. This questions you have to write in the practice book. Okay. Then, number of boys in one group, that is 23. Number of groups is equal to 4. Therefore, number of boys in 4, such group is 23 into 4. Mm? Answer is not that, that you have to find the answer. Multiply and write the answer. So, children, write this question only in your practice notebook, practice work notebook. Eh? That other questions you have to write in the workbook itself. No need to write that in the practice book. What do you have to write in the practice book only? This question. Okay, this question only you have to write in the practice book. This question and this solution. Answer is not that, that you have to find. Okay, so in the practice book you can write only this question. Now, question of this video. That's nothing. This you write the multiplication table of 8 and 9. Hmm? Question of this video is question of this video. Yes, what? Write multiplication table of Yes, 
is table of eight and nine. Question of this video means write the multiplication table of 8 and 9. You can write in your rough book or back side of your max notebook. Anywhere you can write and submit. Uh, one time only write a table of 8 first. The 1 8 are 8, 2 8 are 16 that way. Then table of 9, 1 9 are 9, 2 9 are uh, 18, 3 9 are 27 that way write the table of 8, 10, 9 and in your notebook and submit today itself before the due time. Okay, so this is the question of this video. So we completed this chapter multiplication means all the activities over, test book activities over and also the workbook activities over. But children, if you don't know, if you don't know this multiplication table, it is not if it's very difficult to solve the multiplication problem. So you have to study the multiplication table. Means I told you daily you have to practice the table. Thus hmm? you want to study it thoroughly. Uh, that practice is the must method. I mean, we have to study it by heart. There is no other way. So all should practice it daily. Okay, without multiplication table, you can't perform the multiplication problems. Okay, so we completed this chapter multiplication. Complete your notes, workbook. Okay, then next class, we'll start our next chapter. Okay, thank you.